The south side of Milwaukee is home to more than 15 vibrant and powerful public murals. Based on the large Hispanic population in this area, you might think that these murals are intended to reflect Hispanic values. One south side resident shared his impression of the Cesar Chavez mural and what it means to him as a native from El Salvador. Este, este arte este, significa que, que es parte de nosotros los hispanos y me parece bien que lo hayan hecho acá y este, me gustaría que, que lo sigan haciendo dentro del barrio. But in fact, they strive to reach diverse audiences and incorporate many universal themes. One example of this is the mural on the back of the Esperanza Unida International Building, created by Ronaldo Hernandez. You can see this mural while driving along Interstate 43. I try to do murals that can evolve. When you start working on it, you can add things to it, things pop in your head, like the one I did on 6th and National Esperanza Unida Building. I was doing the, the eagle and the dove. Later, I added the, 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 uh, the lightning in the background because there's a double piece, but then to myself, at that time, there was still conflict in the world. So that lightning was a symbol of conflict. And so right now, the, the mural over there is relevant because the lightning's still there. We still have conflict. And I had to work with rival gangs. And I don't want to name them, but they were the, the major rival gangs at that time. And so they were the youth, and I even had to have what I call a bodyguard to help keep the peace. But that's how, you, that's how people learn how to, how to get along with each other, using art as, as an art form. Milwaukee native Caitlin Sprague set out to document these works of art by creating mkemuralmap.com. As an expert on Southside murals, Caitlin has seen firsthand the positive effects they have on the community. A lot of the murals tell the history of the neighborhood and they had a lot of community involvement and investment in those in those murals. A lot of times there were youth involved, neighbors involved, businesses involved. One of the really great things about murals is that it really instills pride in the neighborhood. The residents and the neighbors will feel that like this is something that we can boast about, that we can display to the rest of the city, to the rest of the world, and we're really proud of this. And it also unites people because they have so many universal symbols and meanings and themes that people from around the world can come here and say, I relate to that, I get that. I worked with a daycare center on the south side that was having a lot of gang graffiti pasted all over her wall and they were starting to have conversations from different gangs and it was becoming very dangerous. And so one of the things on the south side that has really prevented gang tagging has been murals. And then people, because once someone in the neighborhood has put a mural up, people watch for that area, like they watch that area more often. And they're like, you know, leave it alone, that's, that's mine. So a lot of my murals were done with grants that work with youth and rival gangs. And, and so they, they have part ownership of it, so they help protect it. So it's, uh, we call murals, well I do, people's art because it's for the people, the working class people. That's what it is. It, it, some people read things into their murals, some people, it's just like art. People look at a painting, they can see different things. A lot of the messages I think are universal and when I think of Ramiro, that's really what I think of. He, he paints for a diverse audience. He uses a lot of symbols that are universal in themes like corn being like a real staple in a lot of different cultures, reaching out, like hands reaching out, hearts, Hummingbirds, I know, are kind of one of his, his signature symbols, which represents freedom. A little bit of color can change the, you know, the mentality of somebody else, you know, and, and in so many ways, you know. So, uh, I mean, with my art and uh, with those murals, what I've been doing, it's, uh, I'm trying to do and change the mind of uh, so many people persons, you know, about uh, tattoo art, about street art, about uh, art in general, you know, but not to the, spe uh, especially to, to one race or, you know, no matter if it's the south side or, you know, north side, east side, no, I mean, just what I try to make my own style, uh, the corn represents the past, the present, and the future of uh, our ancestors, you know, from, from everybody, no matter which country.
you know, that's important. Even here in Wisconsin, so what I'm saying is something for, for everybody, you know. The next time you see the street art of the South Side, remember, its message is meant for you.